if I told you that there was another amazing way to talk to your fans directly? Well, that's what we're gonna dive into in this week's video. We're gonna be talking about how you can use messenger apps to market your music. But first, if you're looking to learn more about how you can market your music using social media, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified whenever I share a new video. I'm Rebecca Smart Bakken and I'm here every week dropping knowledge bombs about music marketing. I'd love for you to be here as well. So, are you ready to learn about messenger apps and how you can convert your fans into suits? for fans? All right, let's do it. So using direct marketing methods to promote your music is a crucial strategy for musicians. I've talked about this before in my video about email marketing, which is one way of doing it. And I'm gonna link to that video in the description if you wanna take a look. In the description, you can find all the resources that I'm mentioning in this video as well. So why start using messenger apps as well as email? All right, let's start with the basics. What is a messenger app? Okay, so you've probably used these many times before. Not only talking to your friends, but you talk to businesses online. I mean, there's WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram DM, chatbots, and of course the good old text message. Messenger apps have an open rate of 70%, which is far higher than emails and socials combined. And now the number of users on these messenger apps has overtaken the users on the big four social media platforms. So why aren't you using them? Okay. All right, let's start with my favorite, chatbots. So chatbots might be the most technical feature, but I absolutely love it when tech and automation comes together and disrupts how we market to people. So a chatbot is basically an AI program that can stimulate a natural conversation with a user or consumer on a digital platform. You've probably seen them when you're shopping online or on a Facebook page. It's not a new thing, but surprisingly few musicians actually use it. They're now so much easier to integrate into your website and social media, so it's a perfect time to get started. Here's an example of how to use a chatbot perfectly in the music world. Aurora from my home country, Norway, recently launched her new album artwork using chatbots. The artwork was split into 11 pieces and fans were sent a random piece of a puzzle when they interacted with the chatbot. The fans who interacted with the chatbot and received their piece of the puzzle were invited in real-time messages to share it with their friends. This gave them a better chance of receiving more pieces of the puzzle and only through sharing their pieces online would Aurora's full album artwork be revealed. What a hype! I mean, it's genius and all done through chatbots. It's all automated. The natural feel of the conversation encourages the fans to type back. So think about how it can give your fans a foot in the door of your life. It's that all access pass that they've been dreaming of and it's so simple to do. So how do you set one up? Basically, when setting up a chatbot, you set up the automation and order of the messages. So if a fan clicks a certain question, it will lead to a certain answer. Talkbee has some cool chatbot services aimed directly for musicians, but you could also use something like Mobile Monkey if you're looking for something a bit more basic and cheap. I mean, there's even a free version there. WhatsApp is the number one messaging platform in the world right now. In 2020, its audience grew to 2 billion active users every month. Instagram only has one. How many times do you check your WhatsApp in a day? Let me know in the comments. Did you know the average user checks theirs over 23 times? And WhatsApp messages have a 98% open rate? That's some solid odds to be playing with. And WhatsApp is now being integrated with Facebook and Instagram. So we're about to have one big super chat where you can talk to your fans directly. Also, as a business account on WhatsApp, you can add a catalog of your products, your merch, your website, Spotify info, email address. It's all available for your contacts to view, kind of like a mini website. You can even send an automated personal greeting message, a broadcast message to your entire list, or set up quick replies to some frequently asked questions. 
What's up feels natural, right? It's like you're chatting to a friend. And that's why it's so perfect to use as a musician. Your fans will feel close to you. Do you remember when celebrities and all those huge artists just start giving out their phone numbers? so people could text them. Even Gary Vee got involved. So he did this using a service called Fusebop. Here you don't have to pay until you send your first text message, but you can start building up a list of phone numbers for free. Another great app to use for SMS marketing is Groupie Text. So choose the one that fits you the best. Having your favorite celebrity or musician's phone number saved makes a person feel special, right? It's like you're on the inside of the friend circle. That should be the goal when using chat apps. Let's move on to Instagram and Facebook chat. Okay, we've seen a lot of changes happening on Instagram and Facebook chat. In September 2020, they were merged into the business suite, allowing the users to access their messages on both platforms in one place. So I'm sure you already use the DM feature on Instagram and Facebook, but are you using them to their full potential? Instagram is such a great tool for sales. Something that I use all the time. If someone sends me a question through DM, I'm able to answer in real time and it also gives me the opportunity to link them to one of my products, like my academy or my launch club. You can also set up messaging ads on Facebook to generate traffic into your inbox with an automated response. So this could be a personalized message to their inbox, telling them why they should go check out your recent song with the link to go and listen. There's so many things that you can do with your chat bot on Facebook and Instagram as well to engage with your audience. You could create a quick quiz and ask your fans to guess who you sampled on your latest track. You could create FAQs so that your followers can quickly get the answers to a question that you get asked all the time. I mean, just start being creative here, right? And you can use the messenger features to strike up conversation with people who have signed up to your Facebook event. All you have to do here is check the box that says allow guests to message when you're creating your event and you're good to go. When you set up your FAQs and your responses, make sure that you're being strategic. The goal here is to impress your users, capture their attention, and of course build trust in you and your brand. It's all about that personal touch and making your followers feel like they're part of your tribe. Now, let's look at four different ways that you can use chat marketing. The first one is lead generation. So I got a chatbot installed on my website that welcomes visitors to my page. So in this chat box, I give them a few different options on questions that they need to answer and how I can help them further. And once we've started to build a little rapport, I swoop in and I ask them for their email address, promising them more information from me in their inbox. Easy. Number two is to build trust with your fans and to nurture them. So things like quizzes are so easy to implement and are such an effective way to build a rapport with your followers. It's informal, it's interactive, and it's fun. And all the while, your fans are building up a stronger connection with you. The third way to use chat marketing is for updates. If you've got events going on or planning a live stream, your fans need to know. So send them a short and sharp message that are to the point. Nobody wants to read paragraph after paragraph. Remember, you're talking to your friends here. New track? No problem. Use chat marketing to promote your music. Whether you're dropping a new single or setting up a collaboration with another artist, you can tell your fans about it through messenger apps. All right, let's summarize. It's important to remember that with chat apps and automation, you must be very clear on your purpose. If someone signs up to your chat marketing, they should have a strong understanding of what you'll be sending them on a regular basis. If your sole intention is to promote your music, then tell them that. Or if you're looking to engage with your fans through different messenger apps and give them a more backstage pass on your life as a musician, make sure they know that as well. My suggestion? Start simple. Create a quiz or some basic FAQs to start testing messenger apps as an engagement tool before you commit to sending out content on a regular basis. Do you want more help with this? Make sure to check out my agency, Smart Music Agency, if you want us to implement this for your music business.
Or if you'd like to learn more about how to do it yourself, then join my Smart Lunch Club, where I'll give you all the tools that you need to market your music successfully. I'm gonna link to my club in the caption. Join and I'll see you at this week's status meeting. So, did you find this week's video useful? Are you going to be using chatbots? Please let me know in the comments and I'll be carrying on the conversation there after this video. See you next week.